Hi, I'm Dorian, or Leviathan of my friends, and I'm an eldritch abomination lurking in the corners of your attic. I also happen to be a freelance artist who is desperately trying to make my art career take off. And once again, non-artists for some reason are deciding that they are the end-all be-all when it comes to digital art and social media spaces and telling us how much we should make from our art and destroying society and our careers as a whole. No, this is not a joke. Just like every other artist, I unfortunately need to be on Twitter, which is just the bad place really bad place. And being on Twitter, I unfortunately see a lot of drama, especially in the art community. Granted, it's usually fandom-related drama or discourse, and I can usually ignore that pretty well, but this one really took the cake. One, for not being fandom-related, and two, being not only incredibly stupid, but also aggravating as someone who is an artist for a career. However, I thought to myself, you know, maybe this particular problem is because non-artists just don't understand how much blood, sweat, and tears we actually put into our art, and maybe we can fix all of it just by explaining those things. Maybe, just maybe, if I explain things in a concise way, non-artists will understand that they need to shut up because in reality we need to stop having these conversations every other week. I'm so tired. I'm going to explain the reason why I made this video in particular and a couple of the things that have gone on in the last couple weeks that have really put a nail in the coffin for this subject as a whole. And after I explain those things, I'm going to hopefully just some things we can do as a society that will hopefully just nip this right in the bud, but mm, it's hard to be positive. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Three days ago, at the time of recording, a user by the name of Feral Forest, a non-artist user of Twitter who uses generative AI, so we know they're going to have something insightful to say, shared a screenshot of an artist named Kelly McKiernan asking for help paying rent. Said tweet by Feral Forest was calling out Kelly for not taking on a tarot card project for $4,000 and then proceeding to ask for help or rent. This, of course, sparked a lot of unneeded hate towards Kelly, and also in general any artist who spoke up. There was just so much hate and trolling spewed out of this. It was terrible. Most of the artists that were in favor of Kelly's side of things were saying that they were massively underpaid or going to be massively underpaid for the project, and they were right. But of course, the trolls came out of the woodwork as they would on Twitter.com, told everybody that they were being snobby or lazy. Would you just pick one if you're trying to insult us? Am I hoity-toity for sticking up my nose at a $4,000 project, or am I just lazy and want to sit on my butt all day? Which one is it? Some of them even said that they'll just use generative AI if they got accepted onto the project because artists are all being replaced by AI anyway. You can't make this up, folks. All of these people, as you can guess, are not professional artists and not hobby artists or anything in between, so their arguments are, frankly, Bullshit. Yet for some reason, thousands of people decided that they would like and retweet and reply to this heinous post. But here, here's the thing. Non-artists, sound off in the comments just right now. How long do you think this tarot card from Dragon Age Inquisition probably took to make? I'll give you five seconds. All right, five seconds are up. You're wrong. It takes a very long time. I did a small scale tarot card set for a con recently and it's been doing pretty well. That was six tarot cards. Six. I am by no means anyone who paints. I do a lot of line work and I do mostly cell shading and some 
other stuff for writing. Very, again, Arcana style. I have been told so many times at this point, which is time consuming. I wouldn't say it is as time consuming as that Dragon Age piece, which is more of an oil painting feel. Ugh at least in my opinion. My Shadow Heart piece took 20 and a half hours to fully finish. That's two and a half days of working on it, nine to five. Most of my other illustrations didn't take as long because I already had poses planned out for them, but they each took me at least two to three hours. After factoring in how much time it actually takes. Now, that is a project that I did for myself. That wasn't communicating to clients, that wasn't commercial work, and that all factors in to more time being taken out of your day that you could be making tarot cards. Depending on how diligent your client is at answering emails, how many revisions they want, and in general, how many meetings you might be in, especially if you're on an actual professional team creating these pieces, you're going to be spending at least a couple days out of your week not actually paying any mind to the illustrations themselves. And that's going to be a problem if you want to make 80 illustrations in a year. But wait, there's more. It's not just that. You also have to understand that that's $4,000 for 80 plus illustrations in a commercially produced tarot deck, which is not only $2 an hour, but is also one project. And it's also a commercial project where they're going to be making more money than the artist who made the tarot cards. Someone who has bills to pay, needs to factor in for emergencies, needs to eat, everyone needs to eat, can't live off of $4,000 a year. It's not feasible. You would need at least two or three large scale projects to be able to provide for yourself and four thousand dollars is not enough it's definitely not advisable to do 80 illustrations in a year for one project that's not paying you more than 20k if i'm honest my going rates for commissions are 10 pound an hour which is below minimum wage i got paid 11.25 at my retail position so usually my commissions take a better part of the month to do especially if they're illustrations and and I have to take on about 10 different projects to be able to pay my side of the bills. So let's do some simple math. If a commercial tarot card project is hiring you on and your tarot cards average at 20 hours to make before revisions and you go with my rates, you'd be paid 16k for a full 80 card set, which is honestly still pretty low. I don't know anyone at this given stage in the economy that they can live off of 16k a year without several roommates and help from the government. You just can't do it. That's barely a retail wage working full time. You see what I'm getting at though? $4,000 for one project that would take you a year and you would have to draw probably two cards every day just to fit in the schedule with meetings and revisions is a joke. And unless you're an actual artist getting paid for these types of things, your opinion doesn't matter. And even when you're an artist commenting on these things, you do need to have some common sense. Uh, there were definitely some artists saying that they would take on the project for 4k and that is a massive, massive issue. It's been a problem for years at this point, probably decades, where smaller artists think that they need to be underpaid or they look at their art and they undervalue it simply because they need to be paid for their work. And more often than not, people do get art from them, but it's not only an insult to the artist that made the art because they're not being paid correctly and they're being taken advantage of. It's an insult to everybody else where nobody wants to pay the rates that we offer because there's somebody out there that has the same art style as us that will ask for $60 instead of $600. And I have some pretty hard hitting advice and words for beginner artists out there who are trying to take commissions and quote unquote failing. If nobody is buying your art, it does not mean that you are awful at art or that the algorithm is burying you, etc, etc, etc. It is because your art needs to be worked on. Your skills need to be worked on. One of the things I had to learn is that sometimes art careers take a really, really long time to make. It took me a decade 
to get where I am at. I had to work full time in retail full decade and it messed me up, but I am at a point now where in my skill set I am being commissioned. Sometimes you have to wait and it sucks. I'm sorry, but that is the truth. Eventually you will get better and people will pay for your art. Even if your illustrations are hundreds of dollars, all you need is one person to pay for that illustration and you're set for the month. And even then you're gonna have to look into different avenues. It's not all about art or the creation of art. Part of the reason why I'm making content for YouTube is because there is the possibility of becoming monetized and it'll help pay the bills. It'll help pay my immigration fund. It'll help us replace our really terrible fridge. You have to do what you have to do. We wear a lot of hats. What I'm trying to say is that nobody should take a joke amount of money for an art project that will leave you in the lurch and probably traumatize you in the process. Don't do it. Just take a part-time job and work on your skills. That's all you can really do. However, it is not just non-artists and beginner artists who are undervaluing their art that are destroying careers. It's also companies. I'll be real, it's, it's mostly the companies. Another reason why this commission thing is a whole debacle is because we don't get paid anything, regardless of if you're a freelance artist or if you are an industry artist. Just last week, Bungie, known for the hit game Destiny, laid off 220 people. That's a lot of artists, which include game devs, concept artists, 3D artists, the list goes on. According to PC Gamer, Bungie's leaders had overstated their studio's financial prospects to Sony, and Wednesday's cuts were needed to stop continued losses that amounted to an ongoing reality check. This happens a lot. Companies pay to acquire game studios and then lay people off willy-nilly because they paid to too much or they think they paid too much. It's to make a profit, again, right after they paid for something. On top of that news, Dead by Daylight just recently announced that they're doing some sort of skin creation thing with its community, and some artists have chimed in with cosmetics they've designed, but they're not going to be paid for their work. No, your prize for participating is simply getting to maybe have your work in the game. They should have concept artists or 3D artists or whatever being able to make these skins for their monsters. They should be able to pay the artists and even if they did want to make a contest for these things they should be paying that artist a wage most of those skins in dead by daylight if not all of them are paid for you have to pay for them why is none of the money going towards the person who created the skin for the game they are a triple a studio at this point dead by daylight is a huge game they can pay people why aren't they I wonder, and to anyone who decides to try and enter these contests, usually when you submit your works, the company owns your work in perpetuity. Mohamed Agbadi, a popular art commenter here on YouTube, has talked about spec work. You should go check his videos out. It's truly despicable what companies will do to cut artists out entirely. They'll even use AI to generate base models for animation, or they'll use generative AI in general for their marketing, or just all of the art in their game. They'll have their entire game with generative AI if they really wanted to to cut corners. Wizards of the Coast recently didn't want to hire an actual artist for Magic the Gathering cards, so they decided to put up a job position for generative AI. I can't make this stuff up. For some reason, companies just don't want to pay us. And you want to know why they don't? It's because art takes time. They want their money, they want it fast, and artists do not create things fast unless you want a stick figure. So we're a problem. Bottom line is people want the art, but they want it fast and they want their money and they also want that fast. We live in a capitalistic hellhole. Like I said moments before, people are impatient. We live in a money-based society. CEOs of game companies want their terrible Tesla trucks so they, so they cut out the people that take out the most time for their projects to save money. Anymore, all we do is scroll on Twitter, like, and maybe retweet we don't engage with posts because nobody has the time. We just want to live in our little fantasy worlds and consume, consume, consume. Art is also no longer considered a real job. When was the last time you saw an artist being supported by their parents? It wasn't incredibly rich. I'll wait time and time again in my life. I have been told that I needed to get a real job. Otherwise, I wouldn't make it in society. Unfortunately, I am incredibly bad at math and 
I feel really weird when I don't draw for a really, really long time. I also have neurodivergency issues and my knees are wrecked after 10 years of working retail. I don't have the luxury of working another job and college is incredibly expensive anymore and degrees don't matter. At this point, it's who you know and how much money you have, even in the art industry. So what is the point? People should just pay us for the art that we create instead of causing problems. So what do we do? Well, you could start by paying your artists. If you don't have the funds to help an artist out, why not like and share and retweet and reply and engage with posts? People don't do that anymore and it's really, really sad to see. All you have to do is share an ad for commissions or Patreon or an Etsy and that person could more than likely get the money that they need. That's all you have to do. And algorithms are absolutely terrible terrible when you share links. We need the help. The thing is, that's free. It doesn't take a lot of time to hit retweet or reply. We've seen that before. We're seeing it now. Other than that, all you can really do is report the trolls on Twitter and other social media sites. We try to all the time and it doesn't work very often, but it does help. And also, Please stop supporting generative AI. Stop using AI filters on TikTok and other places. I, Instagram probably has them as well. It hurts artists. AI learns off of people's art styles and takes it and makes it into horrible things. And people think that they can't pay us anymore simply because they can make things in five seconds that look generally awful. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this. I know it got quite heavy there, but I really appreciate it. And I truly felt like I needed to say something after all of this. And it is awful to see the psychological damage that could be done to this artist because of this. So send positivity their way if you can. Anyway, I've got to go back to my attic and draw my silly little pictures. If you want, you can come up just this once. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well. Maybe buy a print or become a patron. Do what you want, honestly. Just don't be a troll. To Jacques, Herald of the Dark Roast, Meg, Exarch of the Golden Egg, High Artisan Anonymous B, Great Alpha Wolf Squilliam William, Nairuz, Seer of Rosy Mercy. Ghost, Infernal Collector of the Damned. Golden Paladin Court. Isabella, Redeemer of Bad Himbos. Keeper of the Lapin Warren, Robin. Most Royal of all the Rats. Ethereal Consort of House Vicarian. Fungal Sovereign Taz, Exalted Curator Wick, The Under Elf of Delphinia, Paragon of Starlight, An Impossible Amount of Rat Babies, Divine Herald Jordan, Astrea, Sage of the Outer Realms, Wretched Sauce of House Worcestershire, Champion Pallypunk of the Immortal Valley. Taylor of Macabre Coney Livery. Eternal Apostle Austin. The Contingent of Fables. The Eminence of Light, Bunny. Exarch of the Ornate Tomb. Harley the Sanguinous. Grand Overlord Silas. Being of Exalted Sunlight. Delegate of Clan Latinurs, Eternal Consul Puja, High Magi Katie, The Herald of Wrens, Knight Susan of the Milkiest Order, Great Seer Claire, and Sir Matthew, Guardian of the Preserved Apiary.